There are lots of equianalgesic dosing charts available. I would suggest that practitioners use a fair balance one, such as the American Pain Society or one published in a reference source that is pretty fair balance. I try not to use the ones provided by the pharmaceutical industry because they are very conservative in guiding practitioners to go to their product and they are not intended to be to convert off of that manufacturer's products. There of course are inherent limitations in using one of these equianalgesic charts. This is not set in um, solid concrete. These, the data comes from sometimes single dose studies, sometimes from multiple dose studies. We can't d guarantee bi-directionality and those charts do not take into consideration patient specific variables such as age and organ function for example. But it's better than nothing. It gives us some margin of safety. If we follow those guidelines it gives us some sense of the proportionality of dosing opioids and it's a good starting point. The most important step however is using your good clinical sense and monitoring the patient and adjusting therapy as clinically appropriate.